I want to invite you to download our free app and find out for yourself why personal trainers are loving it. You can download it at the App Store or on Google Play. There are 365 workouts on this app, so that's one workout for every day of the year. The workouts come in all levels, and you can see the level on the app. You can also see what equipment you're going to need. The workouts are really inexhaustible. They're also filmed in beautiful locations like this. And did I mention it's free? That's the best part. Go to the App Store or Google Play today and check it out. We'll be working on your core, your lower body, and your upper body. First, we need to warm your spine up. Hands behind the knees. Knees are about hip width apart. Round your spine and then come forward over your legs. Lift your chest up. Keep your back straight. Pull your abdominals in. Lean back and then feel the positioning change as you round your spine, rounding forward. Be light on your hands. Lift your chest up. Hinge back and then round your spine. Feel the change. You want to change your spine from straight to bend. Lift your chest up. Again, hinging back, rounding your spine, coming forward over your legs. Just warming everything up, getting your spine ready, keeping your core tight and feeling how your abdominals actually change the shape of your spine. Feeling your core muscles firing up to get you ready for the work on the floor. Stomach pulls in and up. Feel your abdominals bracing a little bit stronger. Maybe bend forward a little bit more over your legs legs forward and straight. Now, straighten your legs, but squeeze your sit bones. So you want to engage your glutes. Even though you're sitting on them, you want to feel that support. Reach your arms forward. Now roll back halfway. Keep reaching your tailbone forward and then come on up. Make sure you breathe. Inhale, exhale, reach back. Pull your abdominals in and up. Exhale, come forward. Keep squeezing your sit bones. Keep supporting. And exhale, come up. Right, you want to be able to lift up as tall as you can while you're sitting down. Reach your arms forward, round your spine, scoop your abdominals in and up. And exhale. For one minute, we keep doing this. And maybe as you go on into your minute, you come back a little bit more, feeling your core get a little stronger. Now let's bend your knees. Everything's in line. The arms reach up overhead, the arms, and the back is straight. You're twisting now outside. Take the left one elbow to the floor, rotating from your waist so you keep the lower half nice and stable. As the upper half is challenged, rotate one elbow down as the other arm stays up. You do this for about one minute. Keep reaching one arm towards the ceiling of the sky and then bend your elbow and twist open to that elbow that's coming down to the floor always passing through a nice straight back and arms reach up twisting elbow down to the mat reaching and stretching up twisting elbow down to the mat continuing your breath feeling your whole core activating as we heat it up and get ready for some deep core work Now, continuing that engagement of your glutes, squeeze your sit bones, extend your legs straight, keep your back straight, 
Bring your elbows forward and create a 90 degree angle with your arms. Now all you're doing is hinging back. Keep squeezing your sit bones to keep that support in your lower half. And just lean back. Keep your back straight and feel your abdominals turning on as you lean back. Keep your elbows right at shoulder height. We're just gonna be doing this for 30 seconds. Keep squeezing your sit bones, hinge back. Keep your back straight and the head just falls in line with the rest of the spine. Feel your elegant neck. Feel that long, lean line in your neck and keep your shoulders down away from your ears. Let's change that positioning. For the next 30 seconds, you're gonna make a fist with your hands and get the tops of the knuckles together and then flex your feet. So feel how that changed the dynamic of the legs. Twist to one side, come center. Take a breath in the center and twist to the other side. Keep the energy going out through the top of your head, twist. If you want, you can twist for two counts giving yourself a little bit more of a dynamic movement. This also stretches your spine as well as conditioning your core. Try to move from your waist versus your shoulders and really stabilize that lower half. So you keep your squeezing your sit bones, keep your core working and feeling the dynamics of the twist. The lower half is stable, the upper half is twisting. Imagine you're trying to twist that lid of a jar open and the top of the body is that jar. Try to stay upright every time you pass through the center. And we're doing this for about a minute. Sitting and twisting our torso, keeping our sit bones engaged. Getting deeper into our work now, working on those rotators in the spine as well as the abdominal work. Now, a little balance challenge. Keep squeezing your sit bones, bend your knees. Be light on your feet, hinge back a little bit. Keep your back straight and then all of a sudden pick your knees up, pick your feet up off the floor and balance on your sit bones. You can keep your knees bent, otherwise if you feel strong enough, straighten your legs. The palms are reaching up for the sky and then imagine you're moving from the back as you reach your arms up towards your eyebrows. So just bring your fingertips up just to your eyebrow line. Work from your back and keep that integrity of your core if your legs are straight or you're bent. Now just lower and lift those legs. That was five. We're lifting and lowering the legs five times. Keep your back straight. Keep squeezing your sit bones. Now create a little diamond with your hands, index fingers and thumbs together. We'll do a set of five of these. Chest presses. Lift the legs up and just press that diamond forward. Keep it right in front of your sternum. You have only two more. Stay there, hang in there, it's all core. And then come back up, give yourself a little rest. That was a tough one. It's tough to balance, it's tough to balance on those sit bones. The good news is, is that you only have to do that once. If you do it right. Stretching out, recalibrating. Now we're going to come onto our hands and knees. Make sure those joints are right underneath you, right? Those wrists are right under the shoulder. Now you're picking up one leg, get that knee into the elbow, and then stretching that same leg back. As you keep your arms straight, you keep your, sh you're working your shoulder girdle and recalibrating those shoulders. Use your obliques to get that knee up and into your elbow. And then use your glutes to stretch that leg far back behind you. 
You're gonna want to bend your elbow, so just keep your arms really straight here. So you're shifting into a forward plank, right? If your knees are sensitive, feel free to pad them out a little bit more, add a little towel underneath that standing knee. We're doing this for about 30 seconds on one side, and you're activating your whole side here while you're lubricating the shoulder joint. So you're working from top to bottom in your core. Switching sides. So you come in a forward plank, right? And pull that knee right into the elbow, stretch that leg back behind you. Use your glutes, feel those lines, that kinetic chain from your hands going up into your shoulders and then feel how your core is really cooking here. That knee goes right into the elbow with your obliques and then you're using your glutes to get that leg straight back behind you. And again, if you're sensitive with your knees, feel free to pad them. Reach that knee over to the elbow. Really try to touch 30 seconds here on this side. Really give this side just as much focus and as attention as, the other, as you give the other side. And keep working that shoulder girdle as you keep those arms straight. Now walk your hands underneath your shoulders. And then make sure that knee is underneath the hip. You're gonna open up to one side and balance on one side. And make sure that hand is right underneath the shoulder that you're balancing on. Imagine you're making yourself as narrow as possible. So really get a nice straight long line from the top of your head all the way down through that extended leg. Now lift and lower that leg up and down. So the outside hand is reaching up and it's, the hand is behind the head. The elbows are out. Your chest is up, your abs are in, you're really working so hard to stabilize. This is a very tough position to maintain, but you're gonna stay strong and focused for the next 30 seconds as you lift and lower those legs. Now draw a circle forward, but look down and make sure that that hip is right in line. And make sure those legs are in line with that hip. Circle the other way. Keep that leg up as high as you can. These are tough. I know you're feeling this all over in your sides, underneath you, in your core, even in that standing or in that kneeling leg. You're working very hard to stabilize. These are core stabilizers. Now come up onto your knees if you're able to, and we're gonna transition to the other side. Make sure all the joints are stacked. Make sure that all the joints are in the same plane. That means you're really just trying to get everything in line and feel that whole kinetic chain again from the top of your head out through your toes. The hand is right underneath the shoulders. The outside hand is right behind the head. We circle forward. Pull your abdominals in. These circles are really only about six inches and wide. And then let's circle the other way. You're doing that about 10 times each way. Keep pushing your hip forward. Imagine you're between two panes of glass and really make yourselves as narrow as possible. Now let's lift and lower 10 times. Keep lifting up out of that bottom side too, right? Nothing's hanging out, everything's engaged. Keep your neck long, keep breathing. These are tough and rest. Child's pose will neutralize that spine. You feel that stretch in your sides. You really work those sides pretty hard. Now, we're gonna make a little pinwheel shape with the legs. So you can take your one shin and have it parallel to one edge of your mat. And then you take that other knee and bring it back behind you. And then look down to see if that knee is just in the same line with your hip, if not behind it. 
lean forward and then get your fingers engaged too and strong. So you wanna feel supported in your back. Pull your abdominals in, keep your neck long. Lean forward as much as you need to, but keeping your abdominals tight. And then lift that back leg up, use your glutes. Keep that knee as far behind your hip as possible. Flex that foot and you're just gonna pulse that leg back behind you. Keep the leg bent. Keep engaging your glutes on that outside leg and breathe. It can be very challenging to get that leg up while keeping your back straight. So if you need to lean forward a little bit more, just do that, but keep your abdominals engaged so you protect your back. This also is a back strengthener too. Not only are you working your glutes and your abs, but you're really working on your back. Now you're lifting that knee up. There's a muscle called the quadratus lumborum, which is a pretty significant muscle in the back that we really need to work on strengthening. Good job. And give it a rest. So it's about 30 seconds with that leg, crossing that ankle over the knee and stretching it out. Let's switch sides. The other leg is, the other shin is parallel to the edge of your mat. Use that as a guide. Now lean forward and then take that other leg back, reach it back, make sure that knee is in line with the hip if not directly behind it. Pick up the foot, flex the foot, and then press through the heel. When you flex your foot like this, it's a little bit easier to activate the back of the leg and it's a little bit easier to identify the glutes. 30 seconds, lifting that leg and pulsing it straight back. Keep your abdominals tight, keep supporting them. Your back with your abdominals and feel that strength in your back working too. And try to relax the shoulders down. It's gonna be very tempting to throw your body in very different directions here, but really try to maintain the integrity of the shape. Just pitch forward just a little bit, just enough to accommodate that leg behind you. Now you're gonna lift straight up. Use your glutes. Try not to use the front of your leg. Try not to use your hip flexors. You're really using your glutes to lift that leg up. It's the outside of the leg. It's the outside of the tushy that's working. Breathing, 30 seconds here. You're gonna feel it. Cross that ankle over and give yourself a nice little break. Lean forward into it for a little bit of a deeper stretch. Now let's come back to our kneeling position. Shift your weight over into a plank position. Now you can be on your knees and then on your toes, but let's start with this. Coming into a nice elbow plank. The hands and the elbows are shoulder width apart in your plank position. Again, you can modify this by coming onto your knees, or if you're up for the challenge, come into a straight leg and balance on your toes. Just lift one leg up alternating sides, reaching and stretching up to the ceiling or the sky above you without changing the shape of your spine. Always keep your abdominals in, nothing's hanging out, everything's pulling really tight. And also imagine you're pulling your elbows down towards your feet so you activate the back muscles to keep out of your shoulders. Raising one leg at a time for 30 seconds holding in a plank position, staying strong, long, and lean, and maintaining those elegant lines. Hang in there, you're activating all of your back, the whole back of the leg, the glutes and the hamstrings. And rest. Rest enough where you're 
chest can be accommodated in between your knees. Keep your toes together. Now we're going to add a little rotation for that lower half to continue that rotation theme. Elbows and wrists are shoulder width apart. Squeeze the heels together. Now dip one hip to one side and then alternate dipping the other hip to the other side. But pull your abdominals in and up. Engage your glutes to get the back of the body working. Keep your shoulder blades apart, right? So you feel strong in your shoulders, but keep them away from the ears and rotate, dipping your hips side to side. Again, you can do this on your knees and then work your way up to balancing on your toes. Feeling that delicious stretch in your lower back as well. Come into a child's pose and rest. Remember to breathe. Let's come and balance on our elbows again. Make fists with your hands, right? Everything's shoulder width apart. And kick one heel into your tush two times. And then switch, alternating sides. Let's do this for about 30 seconds, maintaining that strong, straight, elegant line from the top of your head through your heels. Pretty much the only thing that moves is the leg. Really try to work on keeping everything else nice and steady and stable. That's where your work is. That's where your core work is, is staying strong. Continuing to breathe. Now we're coming onto the elbows. Clasp our hands together. Keep your back straight, my keep your abdominals in tight. Take the one leg, keep it bent, and then see if you can try to flex your foot so hard that it's parallel to the ceiling or the sky. You start with your knee at hip height and you pulse from there. Pushing straight up towards the sky. Isolating those glutes and those hamstrings. Maintaining that perfect form with your shoulders right over your elbows. And keep your abdominals in tight. Focus and close your eyes if you need to. Focus on those glutes. Focus on that one glute, that set of glutes push and that leg up to the sky. Really work hard to keep that knee as high up as possible. And rest. Switching sides, flex the foot and press your foot up to the sky, as if you can make an imprint in the clouds or in the ceiling above you. That's how much you wanna reach up with that leg. That's how much you wanna engage that glute. That's how high you wanna keep that knee up. Pull your abdominals in and support your back. It's going to be tempting to let your back move in this position, but work very hard to keep your hips still and work very hard to keep your back straight and just Isolate that leg that's working. Isolate those glutes that are working. Pushing that foot up towards the ceiling of the sky. Keeping your neck long. If it helps to close your eyes, to focus on this muscle group, do so. If it helps to place your hand on the muscle group, do so. 30 seconds each leg. Coming onto your stomach, spread your fingertips, place your hands right in front of your shoulders. Keep your elbows pinned to your side and walk your legs together. Imagine those legs were magnetized together. Keep your neck long. You can even look towards the floor or on your mat to keep your neck, the back of your neck long. Press up. 
keep your abs tight though and keep your glutes engaged. So we fired up those glutes by on, when, with that exercise on our hands and knees. And now you're gonna keep your glutes engaged, press your arms straight. Do this 10 times slow and feel your triceps working to, to straighten your arms out, but keep your abdominals tight. Keep your elbows tight into your side and work through this very slowly so you feel every single muscle group in your arms kick on. Pull your abdominals in. Breathing and pressing through, straightening your arms. Very deliberate motion here to work through your triceps. Now keep your glutes engaged, press up. Small, pulsing, straightening those elbows, feeling that little burn. That's okay. That's how we get results sometimes, right? Work through discomfort. Keep your glutes engaged. And rest. We're going to do that one more time. Nice set of slow presses up. Working your full range of your triceps here, pressing down into the crown, keep your neck long, keep your shoulders away from the ears, pull your abdominals in and up. Keep that beautiful bow in your back, but keep everything strong and protected. Keep your glutes engaged. Hang in there. You're almost done. Now, Come and sit on your hip, keep your knees together, hold on to the outside of that ankle. Take the other arm, bring it up over your head and bend over. Now, come to the other side. Come onto that elbow at that other side, raise that arm up overhead. Use that hand to push yourself back up. Feel like a little mermaid here. Graceful. Elegant. Moving from side to side, keeping your knees together, keeping your core engaged, wrapping your arm around your head. Bending at your elbow, placing that elbow down to the ground. We're cooling down, giving ourselves a nice, delicious stretch after all that core work. Now, round your spine, take your elbow down, and feel that stretch in your upper back and feel the waist working. Let's switch sides, sweep your legs forward. Bring them to the other side. Keep your knees together. Hold on to the outside ankle with the outside hand. Raise the outside arm up and wrap. Stretch it up, come down to that elbow. Keep everything strong as you bend over and reach. Hold on to the ankle again, reach the other arm up overhead, wrap it around your head. Keep your ribs closed though, right? Really keep everything engaged. Come down to that outside elbow, wrap. Push yourself up with that outside hand. Hold on to the ankle again. Bend over, wrap your arm around your head. And then round over here. Try to get that elbow down towards the knee, wrapping and closing up like a little clam. But keep your abdominals scooping in. Working our way down. Feeling so strong with all of our core work, feeling centered and feeling, reclaiming that great posture that we were meant to have. 
Reach and stretch. You want to feel long and lean, feel supported in your core here. And you're taking breaths of accomplishment. <sighs> 